Hi, I'm Linda Finkelstein, and um, Jane is a very dear friend of mine. Um, I will miss being with uh, all of Jane's loved ones and family today, but um, I am in Truro, Massachusetts with Eric, my lease, and my grandsons, Leo and Max. And I can actually hear dear Jane saying, Linda, how lovely you are with your family. Well, this is a little video and letter to Jane. We shared many letters. Basically, I met Jane many years ago and she met my son, Eric, when he was just a toddler at my in-law's apartment on Sherbrook Street. And then 38 years later, dear Jane arrived by bike to Westman Park. It was September of 2019. And she came to celebrate my grandson Leo's first birthday with our family and our friends from Nantes, France, from New Jersey, Vermont, and Montreal. Jane, one thing I know, you are always ready for an adventure. And this is going to be a little adventure and thankfulness story to you. Our friendship was long, strong, and fun. We met at Sir George Williams University, now Concordia, taking art classes and art education classes. Marion Wagshaw's class was a favorite to remember together. Though I left this, to the States in 1979, I always returned to Montreal and I'd visit with Jane. But some of my loveliest memories are times when I went to Vermont and stayed in your beautiful little cabin on your grounds of nature in uh, Vermont. And I just remember walking with you and meeting your neighbors, going to the Jacob Walker Gallery and seeing your work, which I absolutely loved. Um, and also, one great memory are your meals. You made fabulous meals in this little kitchen. And one night you even made an amazing gula base for my parents who were visiting Vermont. Jane and Pierre sold their home in Vermont just before I moved here. But they took many more exciting adventures and Newfoundland was on their map. I got this amazing, beautiful card from Jane describing a beautiful land with soft grays punctuated by the odd red house and fishing houses. Amazing rock formations, bird sanctuaries, fossils, beautiful gray colors everywhere. Thank you, dear Jane, for your radiant and warm friendship. I met you when I was young, and I learned so much and had so much joy just being with you, reading your letters, immersing in your art, and listening to your adventures on sailboats and in different ports and everywhere you traveled. Recently, I read the words, there's nothing more whole than a broken heart. 
My heart is broken, knowing I will not see you and have time with you. I loved you so much, and I always will love you. You live in my heart and in my soul.